going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I like to call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. During the Charleston, every decision you make with your incoming passes can affect the next, hence the chain reaction. We're going to do the Charleston with the same tiles and compare results. We got to find a plan A and a plan B, building around the strength of the hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise, so I'll get 14 tiles, and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, east and south, red dragon, two foreign dots, pair, pair, four, six in bams with a seven, one, five, eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you say would be a plan A and what would you say would be a plan B? I would say plan A is 2468, leveraging both of the multiples. There is some potential for 4567. We have the 7 and the 5. Either way, the wins can go. There is an offsuit even hand, 2 8 dragons. We have a pair of fours, so I think I would let that go. We need to take a photo here of this first. Because we got to recreate this. Two, four, six, eight for plan A, four, five, six, seven for plan B. Let's pass these. We're going to take a photo. Two, four, six, eight. Dragon. Two, four, six, eight of some kind. Just keep it all. Let's pass those three. We'll take a photo. We got a four and another dragon, a flower. I would reassess. So we have two, four. There is a concealed hand that uses the matching dragon, but we have gaps. No six, eight. We have a joker, so I don't think I would play a pair hand. Two, four, four, six, eight. Two, four, four, six, eight. No gaps. Two, four, six, eight. No gaps. This is the third hand, fourth hand down. We could even do, let's see here, two, four, just hold as many of the two fours. Oh, I don't think I would pass that. I would not pass two dragons. Let's let the two go. We'll take a photo. We got a four, 
nine, seven, two, four, pair, pair. No, it's pair, pung. Pair, pung, pair, pung, kong. Let's let the four crack go. Take a photo. Now we fill the gap. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. There's a pair of flowers now. We can use the joker for the missing eight. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. Pung, pear, pear, pung, pear. Two, four, four, six, eight. We're going across. I would not pass a flower. I would use it. Okay, so I would, to pass fully, I would play the concealed hand and let these go. It's a little bit painful. We'll take a photo. Look what we got. No gaps. I would pass fully. I'll take a photo. I would not pass a flower. I would pass these two. One. We'll leave behind. No keepers. That was a good result though. Three discards, no gaps. We have an extra tile. It's really four discards. Pair, pung, pair, pair, pung, pair. So this we'd use in here. Another thing that we could do Maybe play two, three, four with flowers. Hmm, I don't think so though. I think I would try for that concealed hand. So we really have four discards. So let's do it again and see if four, five, six, seven has a better result. All right, we're gonna try for four, five, six, seven. Let's pass the one, the east, and the red. Are there any consecutive numbers? Consecutive run hands with offsuit dragons, no. So we're gonna let this go. Nine green, two nine. Let's pass these three. We're trying for four, five, six, seven, or two, three, four, five, if it happens to come in. Okay, here's a flower. We have all these fours now, though. Look, like numbers with fours kind of came in. Four, five, six, seven. Let's break up the two. Ooh, dragon. Two, four, Five, six, mix suit Kongs. Let's let the seven go. We could still maybe do four, five, six, mix suit Kongs or like numbers with fours. We got a four. Four, five, six, or like numbers with fours. Here's some tiles to pass. Flower. We have to make a choice now. 
I think I would try for maybe the concealed like number hand. We need that red dragon. I think I would give up on the consecutive option. Let's see, pass these three. No keepers. Flower. Discards. Oh, we got a pair of sevens. Joker bait and a discard. Well, really, four dis two discards with Joker bait for like numbers. We have a gap though, no, f no red dragon. Hui. I think the even hand was better. We do have this Joker to use in here though. I think the results really are pretty close. If we could just get one good pick, we could gather. It is a concealed hand, so there's a bit of a challenge there. The 2468 hand, I think, might have been better than this one because we could call for discards to help us complete the hand. This would be a challenge because you cannot call for any of your pungs and you have single dragons. So let me know what you thought about this chain reaction and if you would have done anything differently. When you first get your dealt hand, identify the strength of the hand. It will either be around multiples or the predominant pattern. Sometimes you're gonna have a plan A and a plan B. Do this exercise at home to test your instincts. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.